This is Lesson 2 from Sculpties.info. We're going to res a Sculpt Studio mat onto the property, either your own or a sandbox. This is my personal preference. I like to get rid of all the decimals after the dot and have everything at round numbers. For Lesson 2, we're going to rename the mat. I'm renaming it Lesson 2. You can rename it as you please. Now we're going to actually res a stack of 32 blank slices. You click the mat, brings up the blue menu, you click blank, and you click 32 slices, and they magically appear. If you haven't seen a stack of slices res, this is what it looks like. I think it's quite beautiful, and I enjoy watching it. We're now going to Second Life Edit, Slice 0, and copy its Z position. We copy Slice zero's Z information into Slice 31. We add 2 to the number, so 44 became 46. And then Slice 31 is now 2 meters above Slice 0. We click Slice 0, we click from here. We now click slice 31, we click 2 here. We click the mat, we click 0 to 31, we click position, and now all the slices are evenly spaced. We will now second life edit slice 0 and 31 and change their Z size to 0.05. Click the mat, click 0 to 31, click size. We click the mat, we click say slices, and the local chat fills up with information. We're going to select that information and copy it. We're going to create a new co note card and copy that information into it. Rename the note card. My blank dash scope. Second Life edit the mat and select the contents tab. Drag my blank dash scope into the contents tab of the mat. Now we're going to get rid of the slices by clicking the mat, clicking kill slices, and clicking kill to confirm. And now when we click the mat and click red slices, we see my blank as a choice. We click that and now we will have a stack of slices exactly like the ones we just um, edited from a regular blank stack of 32 slices. And that's the end of lesson two.